When one is beyond the physical body, beyond the perceptible, what can be said about them? What are their signs? Signs are only facets or qualities. The self is devoid of any shape. When we realize that we are the self, how can we describe a person's qualities or lack of qualities? One who understands themselves as the self is beyond sin or merit and has transcended the boundaries of visible forms. They are victorious. That is their victory day. That day is the golden day. It is the glass of immortal nectar. Birth and death are gone. The state of being an individual soul or jiva is gone. Up to now, you have had the delusion of being an individual. As soon as the concept of being a jiva is gone, the concept of God or Shiva, its counterpart, is also gone. The illusion has appeared to be very fearsome, but it is really non-existent. It is only an illusion. The result of self-knowledge is complete fearlessness. Self-knowledge means that there is no fear of any beings. That life which has no fear of any beings is a formless life, and it is beyond even the transparent. It is not a material form that is perceivable by our senses. It cannot be destroyed by any experiments involving the five elements. It is not even touched by the sense of having knowledge. When the illusion is unreal, why should we harbour any fear of what will happen? or how things will happen. In a dream, one may be afraid, but upon awakening, the fear is gone. Similarly, when one is awakened to one's real nature, all fear is gone. Why should you have any anxiety? Illusion is only visible to the imagination. If you have no imagination, then the illusion does not do anything. If one foolishly starts to worry without cause, everything gets twisted and all the sense organs and bodily functions also get confused, worried 
and unhappy. All beings are constantly worrying about what will happen and how it will happen. Everywhere this pathetic story about worry for the future is found. Humans were born crying and will go on crying until the time of death. You will not have peace if you continue to hold on to all of this worry. So let go of all worry. Come what may, you must be without anxiety. The illusion creates fear only for the one who is constantly worrying as to what will happen and how it will happen. Those who worry are going to die anyway. As soon as you project an image of what will happen, worry starts. You start worrying about a thing that is not even existing. Why do you let yourself become unhappy by being anxious about future things? Because you have lost the discrimination power, you are worried. Only one who releases oneself from the clutches of anxiety is fit to possess this knowledge of reality. It is only those who can gain this knowledge. To the one who is joyful, bliss comes of its own accord. They enjoy peace at all times. One who completely lets go of worry is the brave one who rides the tiger. Let go of anxiety and be happy. Anxiety is poison. Why have that bitter taste in your mouth? A blind man does not have a fly in his soup because he does not worry. Our own imagination becomes our enemy. You imagine that there is a ghost and it is demanding something from you. And then the worry becomes a daily affair. It possesses you and then it controls you totally. You must let go of illusion. Never imagine about sorrow. The anxiety is snuck into your mind. Discard it by quiet discrimination.
recognizing that it is unnecessary and unessential. Then you are surely happy. One who is happy in giving up everything gets the blissful joy of their own essential being. There are multitudes of attachments which cause pain. To give up all attachments is liberation. <laughs>